Hey, it's Harker from Play. In this video, we're talking about scroll edge effects, which are available on iOS 26. Like the name suggests, a scroll edge effect is just an effect that is applied at the edge of a scrollable container or a page. The purpose of a scroll edge effect is to make the foreground content on top of a scrollable stack more prominent while the content scrolls underneath. So two really great use cases for scroll edge effects are the tab bar and the nav bar. So let's start off just by showing you what a scroll edge effect looks like. So on my iOS device, as I scroll down, you will see as this background content is underneath that native nav bar, there is a slight blur and a gradient effect. And that is actually changing as the content underneath changes to make sure that you're always able to see that foreground content on top of the scrollable content underneath. Now, the scroll edge effect actually needs to be triggered by an object. By default, the nav bar and tab bar do that which is why you're gonna be able to see that scroll edge effect when the nav bar is placed on top of scrollable content. Now, let's talk about how to customize this. To do that, you're gonna select the scrollable container. In this case, I'm just scrolling on my page, so my page is the scrollable container. And you're gonna open the property for scroll edge effects. Now, you'll see options for the top, left, bottom, and right edges. And for each one of these, you can customize what the scroll edge effect will look like when it's triggered by some object. Now because we're talking about nav bar right now, and that's at the top, let's adjust our top scroll edge effect so we can see what each variation looks like. By default, it's auto, but we also have soft, hard, and hidden. Let's do soft quickly. Now, as I scroll down, you'll see soft looks very similar to our auto. It has a gradient plus a gradient blur. With hard scroll edge effects, you'll see as I scroll down, there's no longer that soft gradient separating the foreground from the background content. It instead has this harder line. And then lastly, we have Hidden, this is just going to remove all scroll edge effects for this edge. So as we scroll here, you can see we have none of that um, blur, none of the gradient at all under here, soft nor hard. So those are the different scroll edge effects. And again, they're being triggered automatically by the nav bar and the tab bar. But what if we wanted to trigger a scroll edge effect for something else? Namely, what if we had this bottom button that's pinned on our page? Let's go ahead and add that now. I'm gonna put it down here. What if we wanted to add a scroll edge effect underneath this one? Well, even though we have on our full page here, which is again, the scrollable container, even though we have bottom set to auto, you can see there's still no scroll effect underneath this button. That's because we are not triggering the scroll edge effect. So we need to do that by selecting the object itself, in this case, the button, and going over into the connect edge effect property in the appearance panel. In here, there's two properties. The first one is the scroll view that you want to trigger the scroll edge effect for. So we're going to select the full page here and then you can choose the edge. So I can have it be all, or I can choose any of the edges. Since this is at the bottom, I want it to trigger specifically for the bottom. And now you can see on my iOS device, as I scroll down, we have that auto or soft scroll edge effect down here. There's a little bit of the gradient and we have that blur and all of it is helping make that button more prominent on top of the scrolling background content. So that is scroll edge effects in play. Thanks so much for watching this video.